say no. Clear communication. Not saying no when you feel a no is a fast way to kill love and replace that sweet love with bitter resentment. There's a common belief that in relationships you need to make compromises. And my last monogamous boyfriend said that to me at some point. He said, in relationships you need to make compromises. And I was like, really? No, no one has, had ever said that that literally to me before and it really got me thinking do you need to make compromises in relationships and after having given it some thought i really want to say that i don't agree and i hope you can put it aside as well because it is so possible to find fulfilling relationships within the confines of only doing what you both like it's just a matter of finding someone that you're compatible enough with and not doing things with this person that's not in the range of your compatibilities with this person. So don't settle, don't settle, don't compromise. Don't say yes to things you want to say no to. You're never responsible for fulfilling someone else's desire. If someone tries to convince you of that fact that you should help them to fulfill their desire, don't take it. They're being unreasonable. For example, if your mother wants to go shopping with you and you don't want to, don't do it. She can just find someone else to go shopping with. And even if Another example, it's your monogamous partner that wants sex with you. And so he or she cannot fulfill that desire without you. Still, please don't do it. You are in no way obligated whatsoever. And you are fully empowered to say no. It's nice to explain why you're saying no. Um, it can help for the other person to understand you and it gives them valuable information as to what kind of requests might work in the future or not. But you don't have to explain your no. No is already a full sentence. A nice mix occurs when you want to say no to something but you do have a desire that comes close to what the other person has asked for. In that case, you can make a counter offer. For example, I don't want sex with you, but I do have a desire for emotional intimacy and physical intimacy. What about naked cuddling? So be very clear about what you don't want and what you do want. I hope you liked this short video on um, how to say no. And if, I think that if you like this video, you will likely also resonate with the video I made um, that has a lot of self-love affirmations. And it helps you to program your thoughts in a way that make your, make your thought patterns more self-loving. And self-love is such an important prerequisite to say no. So that's why I'm referring to it. Um, I also made a course on relationship skills and uh, a few lessons are for free on my website. Um, and this video is actually part of the lesson on clear communication, which is completely for free on my website. I don't need any email address or payment details. You can just visit it on this link. Um, and there's also a whole lesson on self-love, also uh, on free preview. So you might want to check that out. And if you liked the video, please give it a like, um, click on subscribe, and then I will know that you appreciated the video. And also if you have any questions, or if you like me to make a video on a certain topic, uh, you can put all those kind of things in the comments. And unless I get a lot of comments, I will really you know, like to uh, to read it and reply.
So yes, I wish you a really great day. I hope you will um, be able to get some nice opportunities for saying no. <laughs> and um, remind yourself that it can be a long process to learn to say no and really feel the subtleties of where your boundaries are. So encourage yourself on this process by just cheering yourself on. Um, celebrate every little achievement. Celebrate every moment where you say no. Even if it's just someone asking, do you want tea or coffee? And you say, no, actually not. That's also saying no. <laughs> so um, have a great day.